Hey, what's up everybody? Chris Young for Gander RV and Outdoors standing inside the 2020 Crossroads Zinger 331BH. If you're a family that's looking to sleep up to about 10 people, you need space, style, and comfort plus a lot of storage, this is going to be a great unit for you. Lightweight and the price point is going to make you smile. What do you say we start right here in the kitchen area? Now we have opposing slides. We got a campsite slide that houses the refrigerator and the cooking area plus an off-camp side that houses the living room, which gives us so much space, we're able to get a island kitchen inside this unit with a large single basin, farmhouse style sink, brush nickel high-rise faucet with the sprayer handle. And just take a look at this prep space that we have on this single piece countertop, rounded edges, shaker style cabinets with the brush nickel fixtures, giving us plenty of storage all the way around. And if you like this decor, with the dark on the gray. This is called the Java decor. Kind of reminds me of kind of like a really nice higher end coffee shop. But as soon as we walk in, you know, I'm always about the grab and go spaces. Take a look at this semi mud room area that we have here. Circuit box down at the bottom, grab and go spaces here or, you know, gear, hunting, tackle boxes, whatever you want to put in there. Here's my bag for when I'm ready to go hiking. Slide controls, awning controls. This does have a heated and enclosed underbelly, so we have water heaters down there, but this is your control center where you can check your fresh tank, your gray tanks, the whole nine, run the lights, but just look at the deep storage that we have here and down beneath. I mean, that's just a great spot for when you come in from outdoors, you don't want to track all the dirty stuff in, put it in there. And we have, uh, it's over seven feet. We got 81 inch high ceilings in here. 15,000 BTU AC with quick cool. Just making sure that everything in here climate wise, because we also have the extreme weather package on here, is going to be where you want it to be. Move over to the kitchen here and you're going to notice I got a lot of space. So even if I'm prepping something and somebody else needs to come behind me, they got plenty of room to do that. Flush mounted three burner stove with the glass cover and the grill style grate. LED accent light on the controls. Plus you got the oven right there. Storage underneath. That's a great spot for if you want to throw some stuff in, cooking gear or whatnot. Deep, solid wood construction onto these drawers that are on the full extension on the ball bearing drives. We got more storage up here. Got an eight cubic foot refrigerator and freezer combo that runs on both gas and electric, giving you plenty of space for those long weekend getaways, the trips, the whole nine. We come around to this Neo Angle Entertainment Center. Got the frosted glass inlay inside the cabinet up top for storage. Television mount right here for the backer, sound bar and a component shelf right there, as well as another component shelf here. But take a look at that 30 inch Furion fireplace with blower, multiple settings, LED backlight. That is going to really do a good job heating these units. Got a leather jackknife sofa right here, giving us some more sleeping space. Wood balances behind the wood blinds on these giant bay windows. We've got USB charging ports right above the U-shaped dinette. Just convenience. I mean, you think about it. When the kids come in, what's the first thing they want to do? They want to charge their cell phones. But let me ask you, when was the last time you got out, had fun, disconnected from everything, and reconnected with the loved ones? Imagine sitting with the family in this U-shaped dinette, eating a great camp meal that you just made. We got light and air coming in through all these giant great windows, and you're just having a good time. This reduces down into a sleeper. Could easily get two adults, but we got storage underneath both sides. Plenty of room. And I like how I got the doors as opposed to the drawers. Um, the drawers aren't bad. It's just for some reason, I like those because that'd be a great spot. Open up, throw clothing, gear, tackle boxes, the whole nine, put that in there. Solid door here on the bathroom, more pantry storage here or living room storage. And these shelves do continue back a little ways. So that's a great spot for if you needed more pantry storage, you absolutely could get it. Come into the bathroom. It is a walkthrough. Um, we have a porcelain tank with the foot flush here. Plenty of leg room, residential style flooring with my 30,000 BTU furnace ducted in there. I got the corner angled single basin sink right here, vanity. And when I took a look at the medicine cabinet, I was like, wait a minute, where's the, where's the wood? Most of the medicine cabinets you get in travel trailers are those wood framed with the you know, shaker style cabinets. I really like the fact that this is just one big solid mirror 
with what I like to call Nana's medicine cabinet, because this is what my grandma's looked like. She had that big mirror, and you opened it up, and it was a medicine cabinet there. Hey, can't help it. It's just what I remember. More storage over here, above the toilet. Good deep shelving there. Neo Angle single shower, uh, single surround shower with the glass enclosures. Uh, I'm a fan of this because it does give you really good privacy. Plus, it's a nice residential feel with that solid glass. Corner notches to store my soap and shampoos. Large skylight that's also a vented power fan there to get the, the air and stuff out. I got my sprayer handle there. Good space. Up and down, left and right. I'm not going to be cramped. We come into the master and you are sectioned off from the rest of the travel trailer, not only by the bathroom, but by a solid pocket door as well. So when you need some privacy, you can get it. Master bed does have storage underneath, strut supported. That's a great spot for your hunting gear. Maybe your hunting cases, rifle cases, that premier fishing rod you spent a lot of money on. We have a storage shelf up above with LED reading lights underneath. Ward storage on both sides with the hangers there. And if you take a look at the nightstands beside the master bed, we have power ports on one side, but power port and USB ports on the campsite, giving you some convenience there to plug in your phones, get those charging up. If you need it, space and power for something like a CPAP machine or reading light. If you wanted to mount a TV, you could mount it right here on the corner up against the front wall. And there's your cable connection and power connection. But with this being a 331BH, obviously it's going to be a bunkhouse. That's usual, I'm not going to say obviously, but that's usually what BH stands for, is bunkhouse. We come back to the main playroom, the bunk room. This is what blew me away the most about this camper. We got our own solid pocket door. So if you have the kids or if it's the ladies trip or the guys hunting trip or whatever, you could keep everybody separate from the camper from everybody else inside the camper right there you got a 300 pound max capacity teddy bear bunk up top that also lifts up and locks in so if you did need some entertainment space right here you absolutely could the leather sofa does recline out into a sleeper but if you needed even more sleeping space how about a trendle bunk mattress that just comes out now the great thing about these it's not attached to the underneath so you could move it there on the floor you could take it out in the living room just gives you more sleeping space come over here to the campsite we got another 300 pound max capacity bunk up here so you could get two adults would be a little tight but you could entertainment center here space down there for shoes or gear plus storage on both sides including ward storage over here and shelf space as well. And I got a little shelf over here. So if I wanted to put maybe a clock, whatever, you absolutely could there. But the bunk room has its own bathroom and entry point. Yes, for those families with a lot of kids, let me say that again, bathroom and entry point. Porcelain toilet with foot flush, plenty of leg room. I got the single basin deep sink. I got some storage underneath here. If I needed to put some toiletries or I could use the mirrored medicine cabinet up top and if you don't want to wake up mom and dad coming in and out after going to the beach or whatever you got your own entry point right there this 331 BH 2020 Crossroads Zinger 331 BH fantastic option for that family that needs to sleep a lot of people need some comfort space and storage we've seen the inside let's go take a walk around the outside what do you say so here we are on the outside, the 2020 Crossroads Zinger 331 Bunkhouse Travel Trailer. Let's start right up front with something that's going to come in handy with any travel trailer. Power tongue jack, plus we have an LED light. Talk about hooking up and setting up, makes life so much easier. Twin 20-pound gas tanks, got the diamond-plated rock guard, two-piece front end cap that's aerodynamic and goes all the way around. Plus, I had mentioned that fantastic insulation in here that's really going to help keep the climate where you want it to be. Plastic clips, keeping our anti-slam doors up pass through storage right here on the campsite which is finished off this is a great space for all that beach stuff towels chairs hunting gear rifle cases whatever you needed come around here we got an, a heated and enclosed underbelly on this unit there's our leveling jack right there if you did want to set up some outside entertainment you got a power port and a cable port right here large carefree awning got dual zone speakers here that comes out over the slide uh, plus the LED light, solid steps, 
extended grab handle, which also acts as a door guard for when in transit. And Bob, I don't know if you can get under there, but we have, this is a dual axle travel trailer. And that extra wide berth right there in between those Dexter Easy Lube axles is really going to help with the suspension while in transit, keep the, keep the ride a lot more stable. A outside shower with both hot and cold. Fantastic option to have on a travel trailer, especially at this price point, is a black tank flush. Talk about keeping that tank clean. That's really going to help out right there. Fold up stairs leading us into the bathroom access right here for the bunk room. But my favorite option on any travel trailer is going to be the exterior kitchen. If you can get one that has this, this is a great thing to have because not only do you have a lot of prep space, so if you're out fishing and you can do a great catch and you want to clean it up outside so the inside of the trailer doesn't stink, you got plenty of prep space here. You got a sink there, a fridge to keep everything cold. You even have a television backer if you wanted to entertain yourself, watch the game, whatever. There's your plugs and power right there. But we have a two burner stove right here from when you get finished cleaning to do all the cooking and just enjoy the outdoors fantastic thing to have on any travel trailer if you can get it so rear leveling jack right there four by four sewer hose storage here spare tire mounted on the back we do have backup camera so just talk to our specialists again to rv and outdoors they'll help you out with that we got the arch ceilings too and the three inch nozzles on each side which helps keep those elements the rain and the snow off of this camper so it doesn't get on you the family or the slides sealed safety glass all the way around this camper here's our 50 amp plug right here on the rear pretty sure our tanks are going to be right here on this slide as well yep they sure are black tank and gray tank are underneath the rear slide here on the off-camp side. Oops, sorry, Bob. You'll see the handles right there. This is that large living room slide right here. Come around to the water connections, city water connection. Uh, this is the tank flush. This is your portable water right there. The other side of the pass-through storage. And the most important part of any vehicle the info panel. This is where you're going to find out how much does this vehicle weigh. For example, gross vehicle weight for this one, 10,400 pounds. Ask your specialist at Gander RV and Outdoors, what does that mean? Here's what my vehicle can tow. Is this the right vehicle for me? But if you're a family looking to sleep up to 10 people, you need space, style, and comfort, and a lot of storage at a very fantastic price point and weight, it's a great entry level option for you to check out. But leave me some comments down below and let me know what you think of this 2020 Crossroads Zinger 331BH. And please like and subscribe. I'm Chris Young for Gander RV and Outdoors. Thank you so much for spending time with me today. I appreciate it. Hope you enjoyed it. Look forward to seeing you soon. And as always, come check out a camper, man. They are fun.